Number one, Dolphin Oracle here tonight, here to show off something new, MX-14, a special version of Annex developed in full cooperation with the MEPAS community and using the best tools and talents from each distro. So what do you get out of the box? You get the XFCE 4.10.2 desktop featuring the Whisker menu. You get Cupzilla as the default web browser, that's what's running right here. You get the excellent support provided by the MEPAS community including the MEPAS community forums. They have their own MX section. And you also get this nifty help utility here on the button bar, on the toolbar on the left, with a quick start guide that comes pre-installed. It's on the it's installed on the system. It's going to give you information on things getting you started off with XFCE. It's going to give you some tips and tricks on the web browser, Cupzilla, some tricks on customizing, introduction to Thunar, the web manager, some tips about the grub uh, menu screen, SMXI, a neat set of scripts that's included in Annex for uh, enabling Debian systems to, uh, to uh, update on a rolling basis, and you get some information on making live persistent and remastered ISOs for later. A little more advanced topics, but they, uh, they're right there for you to check out and make it available uh, to you. The system's amazingly fast. We're going to pull up the menu here to see what's available. Quick, Like I said before, you get Cupzilla, you get the full LibreOffice suite, you get a PDF uh, uh, tool, QPDF view for viewing um, your PDFs. In multimedia, you get a tool for installing restricted codecs, including uh, the libraries required for playing DV commercial DVDs. Dead Beef Music Player, uh, ignore record my desktop, I installed that. You get SMM, SM Player for browsing YouTube. This is kind of a neat little app. If you uh, run, run, helps you run YouTube outside of a web browser. XF Burn for making CDs. Under Internet, you get the CNE Command Line Network Manager, just in case you're doing your thing from the command line. Then you get the Clause Mail uh, uh, email client. The Connect Share Script Semantics um, uh, for connecting to Samba and NFS shares. An FTP client and IRC client. Under graphics, you get Simple Scan and Mirage, a super fast image viewer. Games, you get a cool little space shooter game, uh, a Tetris clone, a Breakout clone, and a Sudoku game. And under accessories, you'll find the uh, app notifier, which is this little guy right here telling you when you have updates. Uh, catfish file search, a bulk renamer from Thunar. Also, a calculator. Lucky Backup, and one of my personal favorites, the Meta Package Installer. We'll go over that in just a second. You get the MX User Assistant for creating and deleting users. And X Archiver is among the uh, highlights. Let's, t let's take a quick look at the Meta Package Installer. Now, the great thing, if you, don't, if you haven't used the Whisker menu, the great thing is, is you can type a few characters and hit Enter, and you got it. And in the quick install meta pack in the uh, meta package installer, you get all kinds of quick access to common applications that you might want to install. Clementine, if you're a big Clementine fan, check a box, click install, click install. The system does the rest. All sorts of things. If you don't like Cupzilla, hey, we've got quick links to all your favorite browsers. Don't like Claws Mail? Thunderbird Mail is available. Do you need uh, the GIMP? Hey, you got it here. Inkscape, it's here. Shotwell, it's here. Blender, it's here. The applications are either hosted in Debian Stable or in the Backport system. And if you can believe that the Mepis community runs their own repo, uh, backporting um, up-to-date applications back to Mepis and consequently back to MX. All sorts of applications for you check out. Pigeon uh, is in here. If you want something lighter than LibreOffice, well, hey, we've got we've got new G numeric and Happy Word as well. <clears throat> it's all here for you, and it's and it'll for quick downloads. OpenShot, SM Player, M Player, MiniTube, DVD Player. I'm not gonna go through everything. Those are some of the highlights. What else do you get? You get a, Deb, a Linux kernel 3.12 with PAE enabled. So you can access RAM over four gigabytes. Debian 
it'll fit on a CD. That's the goal. Beta 2 is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but the goal is for the final version to fit on a CD. Runs in live mode in 10 different languages. We've got VLC for the video player, if I didn't mention it before. User experience, it's stable. Oh yeah, based on Debian, based on Mepis, and based on Annex, some of the most stable uh, uh, systems around. Uh, easy and flexible installation, you won't believe how fast the installation is. It's fast. It's built on Annex Base, which was designed for older systems. <laughs> it works fabulous on new systems. I showed you the one-click access to popular applications. And excellent support on the friendly forum. And let me tell you, the forum is top notch. So that is the new MX14. So join us over at mepiscommunity.org slash MX14 and drop a post in the forums, download the beta, and try it out. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great evening.